Hey folks, and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Peter's Projects. Uh, we're here in uh, the Central Coast, California, a very rural area, uh, an area that does not get uh, broadband uh, internet connection. And today we're excited. We will be installing uh, the latest product uh, from Starlink. Uh, we are participating in the uh, beta program after a personal invitation from Mr. Musk himself. So we're pretty excited about this. Uh, but we're going to put this thing together and compare it to the existing internet that we're, uh, we're getting today. Um, we're currently on a, a fixed wireless system uh, that at points during the day are pretty good and most of the other times is not very good. Uh, so we are going to hopefully upgrade to this and take advantage of uh, the speeds uh, that uh, everybody's saying they're getting today. Let's take a look in the box and see what we got. Very simple. We have uh, three or four things in here. Obviously the stand mount that you can put pretty much anywhere. Uh, the, the, the dish itself, uh, the router that comes with it, as well as uh, 100 feet of uh, embedded cable. Um, we're gonna attempt to put it up here on the, on the pergola. Uh, we have an old HughesNet system uh, on, on there and the dish is gone. Gladly it's gone, because it was terrible. Um, but we will be mount, mounting the Starlink system, uh, Starlink system up on the, on the pergola and running the cable into the house um, uh, through the wall a little further down the space. Well, we were uh, able to get the Starlink base uh, up on top of the pergola. We uh, attached in uh, three, three different locations with just some uh, long uh, deck screws. Um, and uh, it, it actually turned out to be uh, perfect for the spacing in between the, the joists of the, of the pergola. Uh, we had to make a few adjustments to the, the webbing that's on top of the, uh, the trellis that's on top of the, uh, the pergola, but everything worked out great. Let's install the dish. Well, we have the uh, dish placed in the, uh, the tripod mount. Um, I have seen other reports uh, online that the, you know, the, the connection or the, the tolerances for uh, this to wobble around um, have been, um, uh, you know, noticed uh, with other installations. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I don't think that's uh, a problem. They would have addressed it if it was, but then uh, let's run the, uh, the cable back to the office and get this thing hooked up. We've got the um, 100 foot uh, gray cable that's connected to the uh, Starlink dish uh, run into the office through the exterior wall. Uh, that's the, the, the gray um, Cat6 uh, RJ45 uh, connection here. Uh, the other side is just uh, uh, Ethernet cable that is run over to the Starlink router. And as you can tell, uh, we've got a blinking light here. Uh, we've gone through the setup process and uh, the dish is actually attempting to uh, connect to uh, the satellites in our area. And so we're just waiting for that uh, to take place. But uh, very simple um, connection and easy setup, uh, just following the, the app that uh, you can put on your phone. So we've been running the um, Starlink system uh, for about 40 minutes now, and uh, things are, are looking really great from, uh, from turning this thing on to, uh, to actually realizing uh, what its capabilities are. So um, there's a statistics um, uh, screen that you can access uh, in the app itself, and one of the, the key metrics here is there's a, a category for um, obstructions, and uh, we've definitely got the dish placed in the, uh, in the correct space because we're not seeing any obstructions, um, uh, no buildings, no trees, etc. getting in, in the way of the, of the connection, and we'll monitor that as we uh, go, out, go throughout the uh, the day and, and we're, we're connecting to various satellites at different locations. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, we have run a couple uh, various speed tests, uh, 331 megabits per second um, is uh, a little unbelievable, but that's, uh, that's what, it, what showed up there with about a 24 millisecond uh, ping time and an upload of, of, of 20 megabits per second. Uh, tried the same thing on a desktop, uh, got 39 uh, millisecond ping with a download of, uh, of 193. So um, they're, they're sort of all over the map, but uh, in essence, uh, very, very good numbers. Uh, we did spark up um, uh, YouTube TV and we're, we're streaming that as well as we jumped on uh, Netflix and, and streamed uh, that as well. 
um, and everything uh, seemed just to, to work out great. And you can see uh, our, our various accesses of, of data coming off the, um, off the satellite with this uh, statistics app that they have there. Um, all in all, great results so far. All right, folks, so it's been about 24 hours since we've uh, put the uh, SpaceX Starlink uh, satellite dish on the, uh, on the pergola here. Uh, we've been uh, watching the statistics on the Starlink app, and it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have uh, very few um, outages. We have uh, no obstructions. We, we put the dish in the right spot, and the bandwidth we're, we're getting is, is just uh, incredible. Um, so um, I, I know um, Starlink came out and mentioned that uh, they were uh, continuing to put more satellites uh, 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 in space. Uh, right now there's about 2,000. I think their overall number is about 12,000. Um, and uh, that the beta program will officially end uh, in the uh, midsummer time frame. And uh, we're only going to see further improvements uh, in the performance that we're getting uh, right now. Um, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, we are on a fixed wireless system. I, I have to tell you that if there's a there's a, uh, a black and white difference between uh, the fixed wireless bandwidth uh, and latency and the Star, uh, Starlink bandwidth and, and latency. So uh, from a, uh, a user perspective, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the dish itself, I didn't mention, uh, has uh, uh, motors in it uh, that are used to track the satellites that are that are going overhead. The satellites are not in a geosynchronous orbit. They actually uh, move uh, in a constellation. And so the satellite dish itself uh, is, is, uh, is uh, using itself to move, move around and track those satellites uh, as, as they pass over the house here. Um, another good thing is uh, right now this, this dish is intended to be uh, stationary. Uh, but for um, potential users in the future, uh, Starlink has promised that these dishes can be used in a mobile situation. So if you have a camper or an RV, you're out in the middle of the desert, uh, you'll be able to bring your dish along, set it up in the desert and, and get you know 300 megabits per second uh, bandwidth in the middle of the desert, which is just absolutely fantastic. So great experience. We're gonna, we're gonna keep tracking uh, the uh, statistics as we, uh, as we use the, uh, the bandwidth and uh, we'll do f future updates uh, um, uh, and let you know how it's, how it's going. But so far, so good. Uh, I did wanna allow the, uh, my father-in-law to say a few things uh, on his experience with the, the old network and what he's seen with the new network. So uh, we'll let him step in here and have the last word. I have great news for anyone that lives in a rural area. I've lived for 13 years off the central coast of California in an area that's occupied by many ranchettes of five acres or more or large ranches and I've struggled with internet high-speed internet connectivity for all of those 13 years let me tell you we installed Starlink yesterday I you've heard the installer talk about it my son-in-law and it's it's been phenomenal so far uh, I, I started out having, having moved here 13 years ago I started out with uh, uh, something called HughesNet and it was a very sporadic, low speed uh, connectivity. I tried to get cable companies to come out here. They wouldn't do it because of the expense involved, because of the, the, the separateness, the large acreage of the ownership uh, in this area. And uh, so I got an opportunity to be involved in the, in the beta project that Mr. Musk uh, has been advertising for his Starlink project. And I am absolutely overwhelmed with the speed and the consistency so far over a 24 hour period. We'll let you know, but I think this is great news for anyone living in an area such as I've described.